And how's your ride? Looking good. Yeah. Looking good. <laughs> Looks as good as a as a badass Mercedes. <laughs> Even better, because it's bigger. <laughs> So beautiful. Look at that. Oh my god. We are so happy. And we hope you are too. <laughs> Welcome to the joy of trucking. Today we are going to finish this delivery. It's the first complete load that we did with the new truck from pickup to delivery. So enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up. And first now let's talk to Kevin about something completely different. <laughs> All right, buckle up. Let's go. Hey, Kevin. Yeah, man. Want to tell us about that cool RV back there? You see that RV over there? Yeah. That's a GMC. General Motors built those RVs in the 70s. You can tell by the color scheme, <laughs> brown and orange stripe. But uh, it's front wheel drive. And uh, it's a real collector's item. So the two axles at the rear are just, just for supporting the weight, right? And it doesn't have, like our motor home, is, is higher than that because we've got all those storage lockers underneath and you see you don't you don't see any of that on this so it's a lower lower roof more aerodynamic it's very very exciting yeah yeah it's good to see them still on the road every right? now and then yeah we passed I passed a place one time where he had like a dozen of them like he was rebuilding them and selling them again you know so there are still places that, that look after those and my mom's best friend Hannelore had one yep they traveled all over the US yeah that's it's a pretty cool pretty, looking thing look at the size of the, the windows yeah right awesome yeah she has some pretty awesome fun stories and adventures they had with that mm -hmm. what's it called again what is it? I don't know the, the model name. It's a General Motors. It's a GMC Motorhome. Just Google GMC Motorhome. That'll come up. Because they, they just made them. They, just, they made those for a few years and then they stopped. They got out of the, the RV business altogether after that. Too bad. So that's it. Yeah, it's too bad. It's, a, it's quite a concept. Yeah. Front wheel drive in a vehicle like that. single rear axle with double wheels and it's rear wheel drive so the drive shaft goes all the way back right and then you got all that overhang after the rear axle it's a little different weight distribution but big storage lockers underneath yeah but then those, those but then really cool. there's this big red thing here and there's our rv <laughs> let's go camping Freightliner, when I pull the parking brake for the tractor, the trailer parking brake pops out automatically. I don't have to pull them both. But you see what happened. We got here, I pulled the tractor brake when I parked here. The trailer brake was not on. So I have to remember now to pull both of them. Because for a year, I just pulled one and they both popped out. Mm -hmm. Okay, good thing to that, remember. That could be a bad thing if I detach from the tractor and that, that is not pulled out I'm going to have a problem. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you, South Carolina Rest Stop. Oh, music your door, door. Your door is open. What? Yep. Oh, that's actually something I noticed. It requires a little more the energy. Kenworth requires a firm hand. Real truckers know how to close the door on a truck. Oh, low blow.
car. Somebody was giving us a ride somewhere, and, and I shut the door, and right away they said, don't slam the door, because it was a luxury car, and I guess if you, you close it like you're a trucker, it's, it's not necessary. You just gently ease it shut, and then it latches itself very quietly. You know? yes. Don't slam the door. I didn't. That's how I close doors. <laughs> After that, it was the two-finger method, you know. <laughs> Got a green light. Welcome home. Sadly, we're not stopping at the welcome center where I was looking forward to some grapefruit juice. Sunshine State, they're advertising. <laughs> Let's go find a traffic jam and sit down for a while. That sign is sitting on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Just up there. Yeah, that's funny. Maybe it came down during a storm. There's two more sitting on the ground. I bet they came down during hurricanes and at least they picked them up, leaned them up against something. Oh, look at them. Yeah, you can see it back there. Look how they have them just set up on cement blocks. Well, somebody was thinking outside the box. Good problem solving. Oh, what's over here? First of all, there's a. Somebody got rear ended through. Oh, what's that thing that's. There? Oh, no. changing Kevin. 
big one. Too late now. You can hear, you're going up this way, buddy. Traffic's moving. In about four miles, we're going to be in the traffic jam. I think it's worse than the old man town. Alright, listen to that powerful engine. distribution center with our first full load with the new truck. With the rambling rose. <laughs> and how was the ride? The ride is very smooth in this truck. The truck has power. The truck handles and steers very well. Brakes work too, surprisingly. A <laughs> no. uh, little, little confusion with the uh, auto start at night. Uh, it hasn't actually ever come on at night while we're asleep. And the first few nights we had the heater going, but last night we had the AC going, and we're hoping we were hoping it would come on in the night. And what happened instead at one in the morning? I had all these alarms and lights flashing on the dashboard, so I, I thought maybe the batteries had gotten too low or something. But when I, I started the engine and said it was still at like 90% battery capacity, it wasn't too low. Okay, but that's going to be a whole other video. Uh, we just wanted to show you here where we arrived. Oh, I'll pretend I... to talk on it. Huh? That? Is that in your way? It's supposed to be there. <laughs> yeah, it, it keeps swinging in my view here. Anyway, 
So we're gonna drop this load. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please do give us a thumbs up if you did. And put your comments and questions below. What do you think of the new truck? What do you and, think of the name? Yeah, what do you think of the name? And that subscribe up. button, tinkle a bell, notification bell. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. And uh, that's it. We'll see you in the next video. With love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye. Bye.